Today we're going to meet a patient who was sent here because she has two bumps on the top of her left big toe joint. You can see them there. The first one is being caused by pretty significant arthritis in the big toe joint. And by comparison, this is what a normal one should look like. Then if you look at it from the side, you can see there's a lot of extra bone growth up on the top causing the first bump, the one that's closer to the ankle, whereas this is what a normal one should look like. And then when you look at this patient, you see the bump caused by the arthritic problem, and then you can see the bump further out toward the toe being caused by the cyst. Let's at least get this perfect taken care of. It's gonna make me happy. Yeah, that's right. And I'm happy happens. we can do it today, because I was prepared to come back. Ah, well, we can have you come back. If no, you no. Okay. None if you can do it today. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put just a little bit of anesthetic right under the skin mm -hmm. and then go in with a little bit larger needle mm -hmm. and see what we can suck out okay. or aspirate. Mm -hmm. And you're filming us. I bet I that's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's going to feel like a little bee sting here. Mm -hmm. One, two. Three. Okay. Got a lot of dental work done, so I'm used to this. Uh, right. Well, that's numbing up. Oops, I just dropped some. Alrighty, do you feel anything sharp when I do this? No. Okay, that's the right answer. Well, if we can't aspirate it into this, I think we can just kind of push it out like a great big pimple. So this is the fluid that's just kind of mm -hmm. gooey. Mm -hmm or as we say in medicine, viscous. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of stuff. It is. Hopefully you don't have any volume on this. Well, we can take the, uh, we can take the sound off if you want. Yeah, I don't know why that wouldn't come off in my needle. This is why I haven't gone for a pedicure. They would freak. Yeah, uh, I'll bet they've seen yeah, worse. I yeah. Okay. So I think we've got everything's out. All right. So what I'm going to do then? Thank you, Doctor. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So much better. Yeah. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to put a little cortisone in mm -hmm. to help dry it up. Sure. cortisone in and then we'll put kind of a tight band-aid on it. Perfect. And uh, 
So it'll look like it's getting a little bit bigger now. Mm -hmm. How soon are you going to retire? <laughs> I'm going to come and see you before you do. <laughs> For my toe joint replacement yeah. or whatever the hell that is. Yeah. Well, you know, we'll talk about that when you're ready. You know, the criteria that I use when I'm talking to people about when it's time to do surgery mm -hmm. is number one, if you're having pain on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. I'm not. Number two, if it's keeping you from doing activities you want to be doing mm -hmm. or need to be doing. And way at the bottom of the list is number three, if it's keeping you from wearing shoes that you want to be or need to be wearing. And so the answer yes to any of those would be enough to go in and just replace this joint. Um, but it's a conversation we can save for another day. Okay, very good. So thank you for letting me do the video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome.